Hello everybody, how are we doing today and welcome back to another episode of the automation campaign. Now in the last episode, we, 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 we lost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, we are currently in so much debt that we are repaying 283 million a month. Uh, oh, yeah, a month. Meanwhile, profits wise, they're actually like, we're actually making quite a lot of money from the cars. It's just the loan repayments are way too much to keep up so what we have to do is we have to somehow save the company because I don't think we're going to get many more many more chances of going into getting these bankruptcy loans so today's episode we're going to yeah try and save the company so let's get started by doing by doing that all right so we're going to start by replacing some of the cars we already have I know it sounds like a stupid idea because the cars just released but if we factor in the engineering times of everything and the fact that we're going to have to take out loans for these, I reckon if we could take out a loan big enough, we could not only cover the costs of the repayment, but because it takes the, the, the bankruptcy loans only go for about 36 months, if we can get uh, a car designed in, long, in a longer time than that, we should be able to cover the bankruptcy loans with more loans, <laughs> which... I really hope will work. I I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tested anything, so it's uh, it, we'll see if it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a replacement for the little tiny car. The what's I forgot what it's called now. But <laughs> well, we're going to replace the small car. So we're going to take this little small little hatchback body, the two and a half meter long one. Because I feel like it looks alright. I mean, we, we could definitely work with this. It's a lot more modern than pretty much anything we've previously had. So, yeah. And oh, look at this. We've got access to all materials. And we already have a huge familiarity with partial aluminium. So, I reckon we could do that. I think it's a steel body. But, like, aluminium bonnet and plastic bumpers as well. So, that could really work. So, yeah. We're going to do a monocoque chassis. Should we go corrosion resistance? I mean, we'll, we'll go with normal steel for the time being, and then we'll see afterwards. So we're going to go transverse engine, McPherson straw on the front, and we're going to go with, I think it's a semi-trailing arm we want to go in the back? Um, or do we want to go torsion beam? Uh, yeah, let's go torsion beam for the time being. I think torsion beams will be better for a small car. So we'll up the quality a little bit, and we're going to take an existing engine, and we can pretty much just take any engine we want. So we'll just take the 1.5 litre Ecomax engine we have, and chuck that in there. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will work, because I don't want the I don't want the series to end on so abruptly. Because, I mean, I thought we were going to do really well with all these new cars. We were going to make a lot of money, but I forgot that. Um, engines need need their factories and stuff so it's not great so we're gonna go with the manual five speed since it's only a small engine it'll only reach 180 so that's fine how big is it a 1.5 liter and it reaches 180 kilometers an hour that's really not that bad so we'll do about that i think that'll be fine for the time being we'll go with an open diff we're gonna go radial tires hard long life compound we're gonna go i think 185s or 190 Let's do 185s for the time being. If not, we'll just bring it down to 175s, depend depending on how the car performs. Front, we're going to go solid disc one piston. Rears, we're going to go with drums. So this is just a basic little car for people who don't necessarily have too much money. So we're going to go standard interior, standard cassette, because we now have cassette. Well, we had I think we had cassettes for the last car as well, but CDs are now coming, and we'll probably put standard CDs into the facelifted cars. Um, I think we can go with the hydraulic power steering and we'll do ABS since it's, I mean, we kind of need it at this point. We'll do standard 90 safety and yeah, just stand, just normal suspension. Nothing too spectacular. Let's do a normal preset and yeah, I mean, family budget is more what I'm aiming for and it seems to be working. So it's more just tuning the car. What, what, what's the problem? So the front brake forces are low. That, that's very easily fixable so we can increase the brake size we'll do that and then we'll make the front do a little bit more so we can we don't have to have okay we do still have to have huge brakes 
Uh, yeah, that'll work. We'll do, yeah, that. Wheels, I mean, what if we do slightly smaller wheels? I mean, we'll not only have better braking, which means we can comfort the braking a little bit more. Um, how's the gears looking? So we can make the gears... Let's do this. So about f It's still huge until we reach... It's still a really long first gear. But yeah, it is, it is what it is. It's what the people want. So yeah, I mean, it's mainly just fiddling with the car, tuning it, a, tuning it a bit to make it drive better. I mean, we need to get the drivability a bit higher. And yeah, tr so trying to see if I can do anything with the quality sliders so that people want it more. But I feel like it's doing all right. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I have done that. So see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are trying to save the company. We are going to be starting by making the little small hatchback, the Vetoretta, or what I've now called it, the Vettura. Decided to shorten the name, don't know why, just did it. <laughs> but I feel like this car turned out alright. It's very difficult to design cars in this time period and make them look good, so it looks pretty generic. But, I mean, we'll get past this time and we will end up making more unique cars in the future because this, <laughs> this, this, is this isn't very unique at all but yeah we, it, it's just it's the whole it's just to serve the purpose of saving the company nothing more nothing less so well, let's just hope it works because that would be the quickest downfall I think I've ever had in any game like in my life ever because one minute you're on top of the world the next you've lost all your money and you're bankrupt everything's bad but it'll work well I hope it works <laughs> but yeah I'll leave you guys to watch the time-lapse of me making this car I don't think it looks too bad I mean just if you think it looks bad then tell me I'll try and be better next time <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for watching and have fun with the time-lapse <laughs>
actually not bad. So 172 uh, competitiveness score is actually pretty good for our, for our standards, really. So yeah, um, yeah. So we got the 1.5 liter as well. We've got the 1.2 liter three-cylinder engine, which I've also decided to put in there. So. <clears throat> We're going to take up the line for the Vetoretta, so this is going to be the replacement to the Vetoretta. And uh, I didn't end up doing, what you call it, I didn't end up doing uh, galvanized steel or corrosion resistance or whatever, because for the, for the amount of money we would have to give out for that sort of stuff, it didn't really make much of a difference for the, it actually made the competitiveness rating come down a bit, so... It's going to cost us 461 million to retool this factory. So, but we'll be producing over 30,000 vehicles at $660 uh, per car, which is ridiculously good money. I mean, hopefully we can take out a big enough loan to try and cover some of the loans we already have to take out. So we're going to make the car a little bit more reliable and we're going to do some more work on the car because we want this car to come out in a decent part time period so about 48 months is fine for, our, for what we want and it looks like we're already going to be making a good amount of money on this car so this is the big engine variant so we're going to price that at 6,000 I think I think I, will, I think 6,000 will be a good start we'll do the next one at uh, 5.7 and then we'll do the small three cylinder engine at 5.2 I think just somewhere around there just trying to see just trying to see <laughs> Ooh, hello hello profit I like I like I like it I like you fireworks I don't know I don't know if you can hear that but there's fireworks <laughs> okay I think the fireworks have stopped now <laughs> yeah so we're going to be doing making about 8 billion in profit which is well after 10 years 2.7 2 billion off the first year of the car being on sale so hopefully we can make it until then that would be amazing right we're going to take out a loan for this vehicle and the loan itself will be 1.2 billion now that means we'll have 600 million coming in over a 36 month period so we're going to pay this loan off over a longer period of time, so we don't get too affected by it. So 12 million per, per month once the vehicle goes on to sale. That should be alright, so we're going to take out the loan, yes. And we are then going to, yep, thank you for telling me I had to take a bankruptcy loan. <laughs> so these cars are going to be replaced, I don't know why we, I don't know why I made so many different variants. Because, I mean, they're making good profit, but it's not great. So the next car we're going to be focusing on is the Chia Chuno, or Chia Kuno, or however you want to pronounce it. I'm probably going to shorten that name as well. Maybe. It seems like a quite a fancy name, actually. So, yeah, let's have a look at what we can do there. Okay, so I think we're going to be using this body. It's the same body as we have on the Vettura, just... <clears throat> Just, uh, yeah, made made longer. So we're going to do the same exact thing as we did for the Chichin, uh, for the Vetoretta. Uh, same exact, I ended up using semi-trailing arm. And yeah, I think we're going to use the exact same setup from underneath. But we're going to be using bigger engines. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to offer the... 1.8 the 1.8 turbo and the 1.5 I, I don't want to do too many cars because I mean <laughs> I, it's annoying the way the game works I mean I wish um, I wish you could just create an options list so people can choose what they want from the car so you can only so you can sell the car and then you can sell many different variants but you don't have to make every single variant so I mean it is what it is because I mean, in the end, I would have loved to sell a car with three, four different engines, three, four, uh, two, three, four different body styles, that sort of thing. But yeah, so we're going to be doing a manual six-speed on this because it's a big engine. So let's increase this up a little bit. We'll do an open diff as well. Radial, hard, long life, and we're going to do 205s all around, I think, so... 
Solid disc on the front, drums on the rear for the time being, just to see how it works. We're going to do semi-clad under tray for this car. We're going to do a standard interior with a standard cassette. I mean, I'd love to do CDs, but it's just a little too advanced, well, too, a little too far in the future for us right now. So, how are we looking? Quite terribly. Um, hmm. Yeah, so let me make the car more understeering. What are they missing? Drivability, isn't it? It's good. Yep. I knew it would be. So, how do we get the drivability up? Traction controls are one thing. We can increase the quality here a little bit. We can increase... Well, safety does help. Safety really helps, yeah, because it's just past the 83... Uh, 48 mark. Right. Let's have a looky-looky here. So, definitely increase brake size. <laughs> oh, definitely increase brake size. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of brake size. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a lot of brakes. Um, I think we will have to do a two piston on the front. Unless we can force the front to do a little bit more. Bring the rear drum. How do we want to do this? So we do 350s on the front. We can't make it any more comfortable because that's what the, the game doesn't want. <laughs> Otherwise, we won't have much braking performance, but this is... These are huge brakes. Gee whiz. Huge brakes. Okay. So... We're getting there with the family score. I think what we could do, maybe, is go for a multi-link rear suspension. That will help with things. I feel like... But I don't know whether that would be... If we would want to reserve that for the really high-end car, but... We'll increase the quality, and we'll we'll see how we'll see how it goes. We're gonna stick with the semi trailing arm for the time being. But yeah, I mean, 18 inches—that's a bit big. 17s? No, yeah, 17s. They prefer 17 inches. So I mean, yeah, I'm just going to keep fiddling with this car, and yeah, I'll be back with you guys once I've done that. Okay, so here we are designing the middle class car, the uh, Chiachuno or Chiachu or Chiaschu, or I have, I've, I've shortened that name as well. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty similar to the Vettura, and I feel like it looks very generic as well. But it looks alright. I'm I'm not, I'm not too upset with the car. I decided to use some nicer headlights and just make the car look a little bit more expensive than than the Vettura. And I feel like it turned out alright. Um, yeah, there's, there's not really much to say to this car. Um, yeah, so have fun watching time lapse, I guess. Okay, so here we have it. Our uh, new Chia Chiasku Chia Chia Chu. I, I I don't know how you would say it, but that's that's what it's called. <laughs> now this car was very difficult to try and get into a. Hold on, we want actually. Let's have a look. We wanted to make this multi-link on the rear, didn't we? I forgot, but I forgot that the suspension still existed because it's very difficult. It was it's very difficult to get this car to a high enough level. And I think the game just crashed. <laughs> oh no, it didn't. That's alright. Um, yeah, they do really like that. The drivability comes up a lot. 
don't know whether how much screw it we'll do multi-link on the rear because we do need to we do need to get a high highish competitiveness score so yeah I feel like that works I feel I feel like that works so let's put the car up for sale there's no issues with it and yeah in the end I managed to get the car to a place where I would say I'm all right with it I'm pretty happy with it so let's have a look here so we've got the Chia Chuno here and let's just replace it so yep perfect so oh no wait we still need to make the variants I completely forgot about that I'll be back in a sec okay much better we've now got the 1.8 turbo which we wanted and the 1.5 liter and they're doing all right in terms of competitiveness score you'll you'll see you'll see in a second and why is it I mean it's good that we because we have to take out a huge loan then but why is it cost so much to retool a factory gee oh dear so let's have a look here um the car's releasing in 62 months let's see if we can get that a little bit faster it'll make it a bit more it'll make it a lot more expensive but um, let's make the car a little bit more reliable 72 months was that six years uh, yeah okay six years it is oh it's already making really good profit all right so let's price this car at eight I, I don't know I'm just sort of making numbers up at this point so eight uh, no seven point six and then seven point two let's have a look at how they enjoy those prices a lot as it seems if we can make it a bit more expensive Ooh, it does come up it does come up very nicely Let's make this a little bit more expensive, and then let's make the turbo a bit more expensive as well. Let's make it... 8.5. Because it's a turbo and it has an automatic, I put an automatic transmission onto it. So yeah, we should be making huge profits as soon as this car releases, even though it is in a long away future. But what we're going to do is the exact same thing as we did with the uh, Vettura. We're going to take out a huge ass loan. <laughs> like a huge loan. Which we're going to pay at 20 million... Oh, 20 million uh, a month. Which we will be able to cover. It's a lot better than having to pay 70 million a month. So, yeah. So these two cars are coming. Let's have a look. So we've got the expenses here, and which loans have still got to be paid. So this one, these ones, this one's going to take a while, and this one will also take a little bit of a while. These are all the new loans. So this one is horrible. This one will be done soon, I hope, but it's <laughs> 63 million a month, 73 million a month, 37 million a month, just in bankruptcy loans and. Uh, Oh well. Right. We will get past this. I will... Yeah. Next episode, we will make the replacements to the Regale. Because there's no point facelifting it. And we will also replace the Sposta, I think. as it's had, a, it's had a good life, the Sposta has. But, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll work. It'll work out in the end, so... Thank you very much for watching guys, <laughs> hopefully we can keep this working. It has been a pleasure making this video for you guys, I hope you have a lovely day, and yeah, goodbye.